Life needs liquid water. No life form is able to exist without water. The presence of water is probably one of the key factors that allow life to evolve and persist on Earth. Water is the medium of life and it is the main component of living things. Water makes up about 90% of the weight of cells. Water has a simple molecular structure. It is composed of one oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. The hydrogen atoms combine with the oxygen atom by sharing of electrons. Oxygen also has two unshared pairs of electrons, thus, oxygen is an electronegative compared with hydrogen. The angle between the two covalent bonds is 104.5 degree. Oppositely charged regions in neighboring water molecules are attracted to each other by hydrogen bond. Each hydrogen atom is covalent bonded to the oxygen via a shared pair of electrons. The unequal sharing of electrons and water V-like shape make it a polar molecule. When contact with H2O, ions and polar groups are surrounded by H2O molecules. Water dissociate the ions and molecules from each other, for example, dissociation of an ACL. The negative ends of water molecules are attracted to sodium ion. The positive ends of the water molecules are attracted to chloride ions. This causes water molecules around the individual sodium and chloride ion and form hydration shell. Do you realize that our body will become cooler when we sweat? Do you know why? No. This is because water has a high lengthened heat of vaporization. This is because of hydrogen bonding between the molecules make it difficult to separate and vaporize. When water is heated, it, ev it evaporates more rapidly than when it's cool. As a result, water stable the temperature and evaporating of sweat from human skin. Thank you. Thank you, Haza. Hello, guys. Do you know that water has high specific heat capacity? This is due to the hydrogen bonding among water molecules. When heat is absorbed, hydrogen bonds are broken and water molecules can move freely. When the temperature of water decreases, the hydrogen bonds are formed and released. So now we are going to show an experiment that shows that water has high specific capacity. All we need is balloon with water and balloon without water. Both the balloons are heated up and the balloons with water burst burst. Hi guys, guess what? A water strider can walk on the surface of water. How could it be possible? This is because of high surface tension of water due to its cohesion. So what is cohesion and adhesion? Cohesion is a linkage together of light molecule by hydrogen bonds. So I'm going to show you an example of a paper clip floating on the surface of the water. All right, come. Okay, first, this is the paper clip. So I just drop it inside the water and it sink. But now, I will do some magic. But it's not a magic, it's a science. Ta -da! This is a pepper. I immerse it on the surface of the water. And this is the pepper clip. And I put it on top of it. And this is a ruler. 
I push this paper down. See, the paper clip continue to float even after the tissue is pushed down. This is because of the high surface tension. Surface of water molecule stick together. All right, thank you. Hey guys, as for low viscosity, water and honey will be added at the same time on the polystyrene plate. Which one will flow faster? Yes, that's water. Why is viscosity? Viscosity measures its resistance to flow. Its important role is as the solvent for life's chemical reaction. It is also important for blood circulation. Thank, Thank you. you! Hi! Another property of water is maximum density at 4 degrees Celsius. This is ice cube without water and this is plain water and we are going to show you guys a simple example to prove that the maximum density of water is at 4 degrees Celsius. And now I want to put the ice cube into the water. As we can see, the ice is floating on top of the water. Water achieves its highest density at 4 degrees Celsius. Therefore, ice is less dense than water and floats on top of the water. One of the many benefits of this unique property of water can be seen during winter. Winter freezes on top, water freezes on top of lake first and then insulates the layer below from further cooling and freezing. Thus, protecting and allowing aquatic life forms to survive in the water beneath the ice. If ice was denser than liquid water, then lakes would freeze from bottom up and be frozen solely during winter, eliminating fish and all other aquatic life forms.